Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Git, and specifically, we're going to be talking about the first parent argument and why you might want to use it, and how it can be useful for better visualizing your history and how it changes. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. We're going to be dealing with a repo today. Uh, I've particularly picked this one because it has merges, commits on branches, and commits directly to the primary branch, which yeah, I don't know. Maybe not the best idea, but it's for a chatbot, so... Uh, okay, cool, you can see it all. Um, and if we look at the history of this chatbot by doing git log, uh, let's actually do git log one line so that we see them all one line at a time. Uh, you'll notice that it's a little hard to visualize what happened in what order here. Uh, we often see some, you know, commits, uh, but we don't really know when they got integrated. We know when they got committed. Uh, but the order here is a little bit hard to understand. You can improve the ordering a little bit by using the graph argument here, which sort of shows you the branching and merging here. So you can see that uh, these two commits were committed directly to the main branch by myself. We have a... Uh, a fork, a merge that happens here from a fork where there were two commits on that uh, side branch before it got merged. Uh, actually, three commits? Three commits. Oh, I merged this incorrectly. Oh, well. Um, so you can kind of see like how the history forks and comes back together, uh, but it's still a little bit hard to see which commits are on the main line because often they're switched in different directions. Um, another problem is if we want to see, like, what did this merge introduce, uh, if we run git show on that, we get a very useful output not showing us any of the changes from this at all. And that's where first parent comes in and makes this a lot easier to see. Uh, if we instead do git log one line first parent, uh, you'll see here that we've sort of linearized the history. First parent meaning the first of the parents in the merge, which is usually your primary branch as you integrate something outside of that. Um, so you can see merge commits, uh, you can see mainline commits where I just committed directly, but we don't see any of those commits from those side branches. We only see mainline here. Uh, additionally, when we tried to show what this uh, branch did earlier, we, get sh we ran git show on this and it didn't really give us anything useful. Just to show that again, nothing useful here. But if we do git show first parent on this commit, you'll be able to see the actual diff that occurred as a result of merging that branch, uh, which basically diffs this against the previous um, the previous mainline commit. So you can see here, oh, we reordered a command, uh, we wrote a few tests, and by we, I mean, uh, <laughs> my partner wrote a few tests, uh, and you can see the actual changes that happen in a merge. Uh, one other thing that I use this flag for is when I'm making a release of a project. For instance, uh, when I release pre-commit, I want to assemble a change log and see which things have changed. If I do git log one line first parent, decorate, you'll be able to see nicely, this is when I released 3.4. Uh, these are all of the changes that happened between 3.4 and 3.5. Well, I mean, I just released 3.5, but imagine that I hadn't done this yet. Um, and I can see pretty quickly at a glance which pull requests I need to make sure are included in the change log and which ones I can ignore from the change log. Uh, but anyway, that's first parent. I hope you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.